happened to BC Spirits. BC Spirits, Spirit of Day, number 300, number 300. This is a big fucking milestone. Um, I never thought that I'd get to 300 after this. That means that I don't think I still haven't even come close to tasting everything in BC. I think I'm about halfway right now. Um, if I ever get to BC Spirit, Spirit of Day, number 600, I will be floored. Um, I want to thank everybody who's watched and supported, followed Instagram, followed my blog, followed YouTube videos, absolutely everything. Um, it is really a passion project and a labor of love. Um, every single video that I put out is about an hour and a half to two hours worth of work every day. Um, and it's not my job. I don't get paid for this. This is all completely a passion project that's either self-funded or through donations and product being sent to me. Um, I want to thank all the distilleries that have sent me product. It does help a ton. As you can see, my back bar is substantial and I would say about 85% of that on the back bar has been paid for out of my pocket. Um, so it is a massive labor of love and I am just pleased as punch to get to 300. So I want to say thank you to you guys for watching, to the distilleries that have supported me. Um, I've got big plans for BC Spirits this year and I continue to keep pushing. Um, so what do I have for number 300? Now I've done the phenomenal first releases of whiskey from Moon Underwater, which was the massive lead up to the crescendo of 300. Um, I am just blown away with uh, the Moon Underwater stuff and just basically everything I've been tasting lately. I've just got, uh, it's the, my back bar is starting to crawl over here now because I have so much stuff. So I've got to organize that back bar because that stuff can't stay there because I've got to make cocktails. Um, but, so what do I have that is number 300? What could it be? What would be so illustrious? I believe that <clears throat> number 100 was the Maple Leaf uh, Lady of the Cask, which I do believe is one of my favorite brandies in North America, hands down. Number 200, I believe, was Shelter Point's Patience is a Virtue. Um, their specialty Strath exclusive eight-year-old single malt finished in Tennessee whiskey barrels. And finally, number 300. I just am... I haven't tasted this yet. I've just pulled the wrapper and I've been playing around with the cork. Um, it is this little number. The cigarettes on a leather jacket, the brand new calf strength whiskey from Sons of Vancouver, their very first whiskey release. Look at that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty freaking bottle. That's a very pretty bottle. Release number one, 56.7% alcohol. Um, the release of cigarettes was an idea long in the making, found in the vision of overproof Canadian whiskies that didn't taste like maple syrup. A blend of three to five year old whiskies, 90% rye, 5% wheat, 5% barley, aged and used peated malt barrels, creme brulee nose with a signature rye spice everywhere. Fruity tobacco, mid, with finishing with oak, pine, and soot. As always, the Sons of Vancouver boys are eloquent in their description. Uh, they sent me through a little handwritten note 90% rye, 5% wheat, 5% malt, in the back. Whiskey aged in a used Westland peated malt whiskey barrel. The rye was first barrel we ever put away and was fermented with rum yeast. Important little note there, the rum yeast. We wanted fruity notes to lend themselves to the rye spice. The rye was aged for five years. To balance this release, we blended it with the three-year-old wheat and barley malt to drive it home. Really hope you enjoy this bowl as much as we do, James. Um, and that's what I fucking love about BC dist distilleries, that send little hand notes when they send me bottles. Um, I believe that this is getting crowdfunded, so don't rush out to Sons of Vancouver and bang down the door and say, I want some. I believe that you're going to go to Sons of Vancouver and you have, can put on a wait list and a little crowdfunding here and there. It is their first whiskey release. Ooh, I can already smell those. Ooh, I can already smell those nice esters going off. So let's give this a go. Ooh. Good play with the rum yeast. I, I, I sometimes I, I know that yeast is a super important thing. I don't think we talk about yeast enough, if that makes sense. I think we need to talk ye about yeast a, a bit more. Oh, I'm getting some fantastic, fantastic fruity esters on the nose. I, I know, I'm curious if I, if I didn't know if it was rum yeast, if I still smell this, I'm getting a very big Jamaican sort of fruitiness, banana leaf, that sort of thing. Some nice like rice spice underlying some sweet oak there as well. Wow. Whew. 
James and I have talked a lot about car strength Canadian whiskey. And man, does this lend itself beautifully to the spirit. You gain this beautiful fruity sweetness, these like almost banana -y sort of esters. I wouldn't say like Tennessee whiskey, Jack Daniels sort of banana esters, but really flor like tropical flavors on the, on the nose and on the palate. Almost a sticky, a stickiness to it. Toffee, like a toffee pudding. And then it leads into a little bit of smoke, like a really like subtle smoke. Now I remember the the smoke that they had in the um, in the uh, amaretto was like campfire. This is a beautiful campfire. Reminds me of camping as a kid. Beautiful, nice sootiness. Like they, they've done a really eloquent job at making this. Um, the the barley's given a nice backbone. The wheat wheat is definitely given a like a high note, and then the barley's given a nice nice little base note. The spice throughout. Wow, this is going to be one that I'm going to definitely just hang out on and just like drink with friends and not even enjoy this myself unless I have friends over because this is just miraculous. I love the packaging, guys. Just kill. I don't usually mention the packaging, um, but it's number 300. You've just knocked it out of the park really, really fantastically. The The car strength really balances out that fruitiness and that, that, that sweetness. The oak structure is that spicy vanilla that you really really love like like almost like vanilla bean pulling the vanilla bean out mm. this is absolutely epic fantastic for number 300 i don't think i could have thought of anything better and i've tasted a lot of stuff it's th the 300 episode again guys it's my longest tasting notes ever Thank you so much for the support. I love you and appreciate you all. All the stories that have supported me over the last two years. You know who you are. If you're watching this, I want to thank you from the very, very bottom of my heart. I just really, really appreciate all of you. How much you put aside for me and how much you work with me to really build BC Spirits as a, as a category in the province over individualism. And so I want to thank everybody. Thank you, Sons of Vancouver, for this. Moon Underwater, you were perfect crescendo coming up to number 300 um if i i was planning on doing all three of you at together as one big tasting but i was like you know what no everybody needs to have their individual tasting notes and blogs and videos and stuff so happy 300 guys thank you as always i really appreciate you all i'll see you guys tomorrow bye